This is a very weird time we are living in. We are all sitting in our homes, self-isolating, social distancing, quarantining, whatever it may be. I've been wanting to make an apartment tour video for a while now. It's too bad that it is in these circumstances. Coronavirus! But I feel like when you're spending probably 24 hours a day at home, you should probably make home a sanctuary. And we try to do that regardless, but I think when you're home so much, you notice little things that you don't like or spots you definitely didn't clean. So why not show you guys my little social distancing HQ, share some tips and share my space with you. All right, we're gonna start at the back of our house. This is our back door through here is also a storage closet, which you will likely see in our declutter video because it's getting quite full. Our kitchen feels a bit large for us, but there's mostly dead space in here. We like to keep our counters very clean because it makes it feel more open and then there's less stuff to look at, which is great. This was actually the last room we painted in the house because we don't cook much, so we spent very little time in here. Everything was this ugly beige color. We painted it all white. We put some vinyl down on the counters, on the backsplash, and it actually made a huge difference. We also have my wedding bouquet that is dried up here and some flowers to add some color and some life. I really love looking at my wedding bouquet because it reminds me of a very happy day. I feel like this is a point of controversy because not a lot of people are fridge people. All of these things make me very happy. My best friends are sponsored children. A painting from one of my students. Gotta love it. This area is a bit temporary because we're renting. This is kind of our drink station. We've got some coffee machines. We love our Nespresso and our soda stream. And then we just keep all our coffee and our mugs back there. And then recycling is on the side here. This is also very special because this building was probably from the 1950s. And this is where they would have put an ironing board. But this is our spice cupboard. We don't use all of those spices, but they're there. As you come through the kitchen doorway, we've got our little entryway here. We pop our backpacks down on this bench. And then we've got this weird little nook, which was probably for a landline that we just put our keys on. We added an extra shelf. And we like to keep these Polaroids for when guests come and visit us. And we haven't found a spot for them yet. <laughs> And then, very simple, we have our dining room. We try and keep this table as clear as possible, but it often becomes the dumping ground for all of Davy's PR packages and mail and stuff. So, looking good right now, people. And then we've just got this ginormous piece of art and a couple plants. So over here into the living room. This is the space we spend the majority of our time. This coffee table is our pride and joy. <laughs> It's from West Elm. It's amazing because you can sit down and you pop it up. You can work on your laptop or write letters or you know play games. It's great. I love it. This couch, I do not love as much. It's from Ikea. It does have storage in it, which has been very helpful for us, but it's not comfortable at all. So one day I'll have my dream couch here from Article. Behind the couch, Davy built us this really awesome a little shelf. We've got a few plants on here. And then we've also got this little power bar so friends can charge their phones, we can charge our phones, our laptops, whatever, you know? And then this plant, also one of my pieces of pride. It is really getting out of control and I don't know what to do with it. And then this thing is disgusting, but it catches everything. Don't look at it. Moving on to the other side. Got some plants here, this basket, which should probably also be decluttered because as you can tell, the blankets no longer fit in the basket. We've got this little Ikea shelf that probably everybody has in their house, but I DIY'd it and I added some legs and then we keep the top open for some decorative pieces and the bottom bins are filled with stuff. Moving over here, you can tell I've got a bit of a dried plant obsession going on. If you saw my plant tour video, you would know I had a lot of plants at one point. Some of them have died, some of them I've sold, and now I'm on to dry plants because they don't take any work, people. <laughs> I just haven't figured out how to style them and what to put them in yet, but loving this little area. And finally, this mirror. It's amazing. Davy waited in line 
for many hours at Ikea because this was a Virgil Abloh and Ikea collab. We love this mirror. Into our bedroom over here we go. Obviously, this is where we sleep, but pretty simple. We've got this little bench at the end of our bed from West Elm. It just holds all the things that I need quick access to, like workout stuff, underwear, socks, those kind of things. And then we've got our bed. And then Davey and I each have our bedside tables. They're from HomeSense. Pro tip, if you keep the price tag sticker on them, you can return them for store credit at any point. Sorry, HomeSense, I hope you don't see this video. I have a hue light, which is amazing. If you don't have a hue light, you gotta get a hue light. It simulates the sun, makes waking up much easier. And then we've just got a few wedding photos on the wall because we love each other. And then we've got our closet. We added an extra rod in here so that Davey and I can share a closet. Just got a little hat wall and plant. We also have a few bins under the bed for some extra storage of things that we might need just seasonally or, you know, like bathing suits and stuff. Moving on into the hallway here. This is supposed to be a linen closet, but as you will see in the bathroom, we don't have a lot of storage in there. So it's linen as well as all my hair stuff, jewelry, those kinds of things. Very handy, at least it looks clean. Into the bathroom we go. Our bathroom is pretty small, pretty simple. We've got these three shelves, which basically act as our countertop because as you can see, there's no countertop. There's also no storage underneath the basin. And so we've got all the things we need in here as well as in the medicine cabinet. All right, into the last bedroom, our second bedroom, which we use as an office and which will also become a secondary storage room as we declutter the house. Stay tuned for that video. Nothing exciting in here. We've got a few books. We've got some art up on the wall. Mostly this is the place where Davy stores his camera gear, which he's got a lot of. I put some plants in here to make it more lively. He edits, he stores things, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got one last closet, which holds all my seasonal items like dresses and tank tops, as well as Davy's shoe collection. Things to declutter. This looks very crooked, is it crooked? So there is our social distancing HQ, AKA our apartment. It might look very clean and organized and we try and keep it like this majority of the time. However, there's a lot to declutter and it is springtime, we're all stuck at home. So definitely gonna be doing some decluttering. So stay tuned for that video. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you found some tips to make your home a sanctuary. And I'll see you in the next COVID series video. Peace.